Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the first time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. Woo woo! Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same location throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I'm currently living in the state of New York. All right, let's just jump right in. Repeat purchase. I needed some more soy smiths. I mean, like I said, this stuff flies through the house like water. So I grabbed two more boxes of hot cocoa and I just so happened to be drinking a hot cup out of one of my Ray Dunn cups here. Um, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's not too bad out today, but it was drizzling earlier. I'm in the house getting some things done, some errands done, some packaging done, and this Dollar Tree with all of you because I do enjoy the time that I get to spend with all of you. All right, so in the Christmas department, <clears throat> okay, Miss Patty, close your eyes, girlfriend, because this is a gnome alert. These guys are cool. I'm just fixing his little beard here. I think they did a good job on these. Um, these are gnomes, and I found three different ones. Here is the first one. Now, their beards are kind of all individual strands instead of like that faux fur. So you just kind of have to straighten them out a little. But here's the first guy I found. And that's just his little tag sticking out there. And you have beans on the bottom. So he'll sit. And this one is green and red. The second one I found. And like I said, here's what the beards look like. So let me fix the beards up a little. But here is the second one that's the opposite of the one I just showed you. So he's got green on top and red on the bottom. So here's the first one I showed you, here's the second one. And then I found one other one. I do not know how many designs there are, but these were just the three I found at one of my stores. And that's this one right there. Now his face is a little lopsided, as you could see. I didn't really notice that too much. He's kind of on the crooked side. He's like, it needs to be shifted over a little bit. Maybe I can exchange that for another one. I don't know, we'll see what they say. All right, then I saw this cute little headband. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of Mia with it on. I don't know, you know, Mia is Mia. But I thought this was really fun. Just kind of stick it over your head like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and wear it since my hair is kind of wet from the shower and I just threw it up in a bun. <clears throat> Some new gift boxes. Gift boxes can be so expensive at the stores. This itself, I don't think you need any wrapping on it because look at how pretty it is. Your design is all the way around. You've got a little string on the top. Just watch out for usually, okay, this doesn't have one in there, but usually they have the little sacks of um, silicone. So I always watch out with the kids and pets and things like that. Here's what the inside looks like. Very nice box. You really don't need to put any wrapping Put a gift tag on there and bam, it's done. They had this design as well, which I thought was very pretty. It's got some sparkle in there. There's your top, your inside, if you're wondering, is that dark red. And then I grabbed one other one, which has candy canes all over it. I thought these were just simple kind of, to me, I think when I see this, I think of old fashioned. Um, but then again, I'm old. Um, I'm not in fashion anymore, but here's the inside of that one, which is green and they're very pretty boxes. All right. They had a couple other like boxes, but these are like the mailboxes. This one says Santa stop here, Santa Claus candy cane lane all the way around it. Here's a little bear on the back. And then you got this little flip up flag and then you can leave it open and maybe address letters to Santa going to Santa is super cute and then I saw this one now that one is made out of um yeah <laughs> what am I trying to say like a hard paper cardboard this one is made out of tin I love this one candy canes hot cocoa and marshmallows how cute is that here it is all the way around this one has a much bigger flag that's done in a harder plastic and then when you open this one up there it is sit it right out for letters for Santa Claus. I think these are just so cute. Love them, absolutely love them. All right, I picked up some jingle bells because I like to put bells on my doors um, around this time of the year so that way you hear people coming and going, hear a little jingle. I think I'll put one on Mia too. This is a nine piece of the red ones and it comes with the string if you wanna put them on your tree because they say they're decorative. 
I also picked up a six pack of the green ones. I really would have liked these in red, but I couldn't find them. So I'll be putting them on Mia and the doors in the house. I grabbed a couple more booze bags. Yes, I said booze bags. This one I thought was so pretty. It's got a matching gift tag with it right there. So if you're giving someone a bottle of liquor, that is a nice bag. This one I thought was super funny. Eat, drink, and be merry. Well, yeah, depending on what the booze is in the bottle, you're gonna be merry, all right. And then there's a matching gift tag. They had all kinds of, I guess, sweets and treats, and I think they're calling them gift ideas or things for stocking stuffers, but they have them on like different end caps throughout the store. So it's giving you ideas of things to use for gifting. So I found these and I grabbed three of these um, because these are yummy. These are the Cars Detroit Born Sweet and Salty Mix. You're going to get peanuts, raisins, holiday cocoa candies, which are basically like M&Ms, and sunflower kernels. These are nice size packages. Great for a stocking stuffer or great just for me. Six ounces. These are gluten-free and the expiration date, I saw it somewhere. Where was it? They're good till October 4th of 2024. So like I said, I grabbed myself three bags of those because that is a great buy. And of course, when I say great buys, these are my opinions. <laughs> also, they had these. My daughter loves these. These are the dark chocolate cream filled wafers. These are 3.25 ounces. Great for coffee bars, hot cocoa bars. So I grabbed a box of those. They also had some flavored coffees. Now, when I say flavored coffees, these are flavors like I've never heard of flavors or seen at Dollar Tree. If you're wondering, I'm digging through my laundry basket full of Dollar Tree stuff. All right, this first one is by Harry and David, and Dollar Tree carries this brand. But I don't know about all of you, but this flavor intrigued me. Milk chocolate peanut butter flavored coffee. Four ounces. Again, I've mentioned many times, if you're doing a coffee basket, think of all the different kinds of coffees that you could come up with in Dollar Tree for a basket. Now, this company is out of New York, so I grabbed that flavor. The next one is Butterscotch Caramel. These are some crazy flavors. And if you're just starting like a coffee bar in your home, what a perfect way to do it. Start it with sampler coffees and see what you like. The next one, maple vanilla this is four ounces as well these are some like off the hook kinds of flavors for sure okay staying with some sweets and treats i also found and i showed you guys the cookies and cream one the other day my new word i'm claiming it drizzlicious oh yeah that would be a snoop dog says patty and I agree. This is Nestle Toll House chocolate chip drizzle in a two ounce bag. I showed you cookies and cream. Now they have chocolate chip. Yep. I wasn't going to walk by with just one of those for sure. The cookies and cream is wonderful. Not my thing, but it's very good. This is my thing. And then some. All right. What else did they have over there? They had these which i think are gonna fly off the shelves m m's but m m flavored hot cocoa cups milk chocolate m m hot cocoa three separate cups for your hot cocoa bar somebody's stocking i have never seen this before um so i did grab two of them there you go right there and they're individual like little k-cup things coolio right perfect for a hot cocoa bar also, I saw these, so I grabbed a pack of these. These are Patterson's shortbread cookies. You're going to get 10 melt-in-the-mouth shortbread fingers. These are coming out of a company in uh, Scotland. They are manufactured, everything is Scotland and New York, if you're wondering. So there they are right there. Now, I'm a shortbread connoisseur. <laughs> I love my shortbread, my Walker shortbread. I got my house filled with Walker shortbread for Christmas. But I thought, you know what? Let's give these a try and check them out because you never know. You might find something that you never knew you liked before. All right, also, bear with me. I came across some more. We're gonna jump departments real quick. 
I came across some more slippers and I found purple. I couldn't believe it. So I've been wearing these slippers ever since they came out at Dollar Tree. Um, they have the grippers on the bottom. So I have all wooden floors, so you can't slide like I do with my socks. But these feel just like a fuzzy pair of socks. I wear them outside. I'm not saying you should. That's just me. But I love these. So these are the five through nines. And they fit me perfectly and just a little bit loose. So I found this color. Here's the grippers that I'm talking about on the bottom. So perfect for Christmas, right? Found those. Then I found these white with pink polka dots. And then I saw these purple and I flipped. It was the only purple on the rack and I grabbed it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have them. They're purple. I have to have them. So I grabbed those two and they're nice. I have probably about seven pairs now and I love them. I switch them out. I throw them in the washing machine. I don't put them in the dryer. Um, they work great for me. So just for thought. Um, also came across these snacks. I'm jumping apartments again. I'm moving you guys all over the place. Scrumptions waffle. <clears throat> never mind. Back it up. Scrumptious wafer rolls, chocolate hazelnut, 3.88 ounces. Never seen these before in this packaging. It's a product made out of Turkey and they're done out of Las Vegas, Nevada. So I found those. Then I found by the same company, um, 3.88 ounces, and this one is in the chocolate flavored. What's nice about these is they're independent. Once you open this up, there's just a bunch of rolls stacked in here. I don't know, have you guys ever seen these? Here, let me open one up and show you. Put it on your hot cocoa bar, coffee bar. There it is once you take the top out. So they're nice and pretty. If you got ice cream or you're serving a pie, stick this in the whipped cream. Stick that in your hot cocoa. Well, now I'm gonna try it because I'm sitting here with olive oil. Mm. Yummy. That's quite lovely. Okay, let me take a sip of my hot cocoa. Yeah, Beth, they call it hot cocoa for a reason. All right, moving on. They had these. They're gonna fly. They're gonna fly. I found the mini Pantone in the vanilla, and I also found it in the classic. These, I'm just gonna say, if you're Italian, you definitely know what these are, and even if you're not. But being from an Italian household and English household, these were always in the home around the holiday times. This is a brand company. These are yummy. And I don't know if you've ever seen what one looks like, but you know what, I'm gonna open one up. By the way, these are good until uh, June 30th, my birthday of 2024. So let me show you what these look like. It's a great little treat, just a little something, something to add if you're going over. It's not real big and they're not meant to be. You can hear the guys next door in their truck. Oh, it smells good. Oh, that smells yummy. All right, then you've got this like wax paper that goes all the way around. Let me just open this up here. And then you have this cake. Now I don't have a knife in front of me here, but I'm gonna be the only one eating this. So let me just break it open. And you've got this wonderful, oh, it smells so good. Yummy with coffee, with tea, with a little glass of whiskey. <laughs> that all rhymed, coffee, tea, and whiskey. Yeah, it worked for me. Anyways, they have a Dollar Tree, don't snooze, you will lose. All right, also grabbed, they had, where'd it go? Oh my goodness, did I lose it? Did I lose it? Did I lose it? I think I misplaced it. All right, anyways, we'll jump over to something else sweet and treat. Who doesn't like Fruity Pebbles? King size candy bar, 2.75 ounces. What a great find. Put that into somebody's stocking. Um, I'm not a big white chocolate person, but I know many people that are. Um, so I grabbed two of these to put into somebody's stocking. Then I saw these and I started singing the song. Who remembers the song? Choo Choo Charlie was an engineer. I haven't had these in, I couldn't tell you how long, but I saw them. Um, it's in the still in the bigger size box from Dollar Tree because you know all their candy sizes went down. It's the six ounce, so I grabbed some of those. I'm not a big black licorice 
eater. I do like regular licorice, but every now and then you get a taste for something, you know? You see it and go, oh, I haven't had one of those in a long time. So I grab one of those as well. They have these cute little stockings. Little ones, decorating purposes. You get two in a package and they had these with Santa Claus. You get two in that package. Great for a couple little candy canes or some chocolates for somebody. And then they had these, which I thought were adorable. These would look so cute if you got several of them and hung them like on a fireplace or on a mantle. Those would be super cute. So I grabbed those as well. I came across these soaps and I was like, I don't remember seeing these soaps before. So I grabbed a few of them because they were different to me. I thought I had four. Yeah, I do. Okay. These are by East Meets West Black Soap Botanicals coconut breeze enriched with shea butter and coconut butter a five ounce bar never seen these before so i grabbed one of those look at that packaging on that bar it's like wow the next one is cherry almond with shea butter and cocoa butter the packaging on those bars are phenomenal these would look awesome in a basket because of the packaging on them that would look really cool then they had Rain Forest with Shea Butter and Cocoa Butter. And last but not least, Vanilla Shea Butter. I'm gonna open this one up. I wanna smell this. Cause I mean, don't get me wrong. You can smell them through the box, but you really can't get a good smell until you get into it. And I wanna see what these bars look like, but these boxes are like all taped up. You would think I would have my scissors here. Nope, I got it. Okay, wow. That's a nice size bar. So here's the bar all wrapped in plastic. And then you see that tree in there? I'm gonna, oh, oh, now I smell it. Now I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. Wow, that smells good. That's a big bar of soap. That's not one of those little cheesy bars. Oh, that smells good. That looks lovely. All right, well, I can't wait to get into that and try that. That should be a very nice, oh, it smells so good on my hands. And then, speaking of the bath department, I saw these little scrubbers and I got a couple. They're called cleansing pads. I got two different ones. They look like this. And then they got the little handle, the thing on the back that you slide your hands through to check them out. So I grabbed those. In the beauty department, they also had, for traveling, the independent three sets of travel bottles. So I got me a pack of those because a lot of times, you know, you, you got to go by the travel rules. You can't put big size stuff on. You need smaller stuff. So I grabbed a pack of those. They had these new scissors, which are so cute. They're the size of hockey puck, so they're huge. I did get two of them. They're made by Body Raves. This one is called Super Berry. That's a huge bath bomb. When I say the size of a hockey puck, I mean it literally. And then the other one I found is Strawberry Fizz. Again, these are 3.5 ounces. Super cool for stockings or things like that. I came across this decorative shred. And normally you'll see stuff like this like around Easter time to go in your basket. But I saw this like translucent blue one and I thought, oh, how pretty would this be in a package with like blue wrapping? And I just thought it was lovely. So I grabbed some of that right away. I grabbed two in the blue. They also had the decorative shred in the red. Now this is the stuff that looks more like, it's not, um, looks more like um, tinsel, not paper. So it's plasticky, not paper. And then I grabbed some of the iridescent clear, which you get all the colors that you want off of something like that. The only other thing I picked up was in the, <laughs> the only other thing I picked up were these dish towels. I already have a couple, but I wanted some more. My favorite people have paws. These are 100% cotton. <sighs> I've said this before, this is JMO, just my opinion. You know, the cotton ones, they pick up water, they absorb, they dry. The other ones that you get at Dollar Tree, if they're microfiber, they're pretty to look at, but they're useless when it comes to cleaning anything, in my opinion. Last but not least, I want to share with you is in the toy department, and it really isn't a toy. It's a coloring book, but it's Crayola, it's Hasbro Gaming, and it's got 288 pages plus stickers. Made in the USA. I grabbed two of these honkers. I remember when I was younger, I always went for those really big coloring books. Dollar Tree has a lot of coloring books, but they don't usually have ones of that kind of 
you know, content in there. Now, when you open it up, the beginning of the book has all these cool stickers that relate to Hasbro games. So even if you didn't want the coloring book, just the stickers alone are a bang for your buck and a coin. If you flip through the book, it's all Hasbro games. Mr. Potato Head, Hungry Hungry Hippo, Operation, um, Bat Don't Sink My Battleship. It's got everything in here for Hasbro games and then different puzzles and stuff like that. I thought that was a great buy. So like I said, I grabbed two. All right, you guys know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but I do have a new watch coming up um, that I just received. It's a smart watch that I'm gonna be doing a product review on. I just received some new jewelry. I have some earrings to share with you, a new ring to share with all of you. What else? I have many other things floating around the house to share with all of you. So please stay tuned until next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Any questions or comments, hit me up down below. A thumbs up would be awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell. The bell enables everything I post no matter where. Until next time, everyone. Bye for now.